Hi guys, this is Avril Kifrin. Today I'm going to show you how to improve your performance in the Arma 3 Apex Edition. Uh, I will try to be short because you have a lot of different options that you can uh, change. So uh, let's start this. So first of all, you don't need to use the set launch option from Steam anymore because Arma has his own launcher. So you double click on it. Oops, sorry. So this is the launcher. You need to go to parameter. Uh, first of all, you can click no splash, skip and throw to be, uh, it's a little bit faster when you open your game. You don't have the splash uh, logo and stuff and you don't have the intro. After that, go to advance and advance. First of all, uh, if you have an i7 or i5, just make sure that you know your number of core on your uh, CPU and uh, check this mark and put four over here. You will be sure that the game will use all the core, core available on your uh, CPU. Also, you can enable hyper trading if you have an i7 from Intel. So again, make sure that you have hyper hyper trading or don't click it. Other thing you need to set malloc. Make sure that you're using system. After that, max memory. You need to calculate. Uh, you need to know the memory, the number of memory that you have on your computer, the RAM, and you need to divide it by two. So if I press Control Alt Delete, sorry. So now let's see, let's see. You have 16 gig, so I divide by two. I got my eight gig over there. Max VRAM, this is the max VRAM of your card. I have uh, three gig of my card. So I just put a little bit less to make sure that the OS is uh, running properly on my computer. So this is the first part that you need to do. After that, you click play and we will go inside of the game. I will explain you what you can change um, depending on your rig. For sure, if you have like a medium range rig, uh, you will not like change the same setting from someone who has low uh, low rig. Uh, this uh, game demands a lot of CPU, so if you have a bad CPU, uh, you will see a big big difference in your FPS. So Arma Tree, good. Let's go to the video. I will just lower a little bit the, the audio of the of the game. We'll just put that zero. Okay, good. So, video. So here, general sampling. Uh, you can lower this one, but don't touch it. It's really last resort. Uh, you will see a huge decrease of um, uh, the visual of your game. You will see that. Um, um, it's like lowering your uh, the, the resolution of your game. You will see like big pixel and stuff like that. So you don't want to touch it. Texture, I didn't see a big increase or uh, decrease here. You can even put very high or ultra depending on your computer for sure. But you will see that the game is, uh, the quality of the visual is improving and you will, you will not lose FPS. Object, this one is a pretty big deal. So this one, go to low if you can or standard depending on your computer. But this one, you will see a huge increase. Each bracket, I can see 6 to 7 FPS from each of them. Okay, so I will stay at I. Oh, we'll put standard. Terran. Um, Terran, you need to look at it. Um, because the thing is, some server, they just lock, at, lock Terran to standard. Because you can have a uh, gain advantage with this one. You can remove some effect and see like people farther in the map and stuff like that. So uh, this one, you can lower it, but you will not see a big increase. But again, a lot of server are just locking uh, this one to standard. Shadow. Shadow, you need to look at this. Um, it's a little bit weird. The low and the standard are running on the CPU and everything else is on the GPU. So if you have a bad GPU or even like a, bad, a, a low rig, just disable it. You will see a lot of increase, but you will see that the visual on the game is not that great because uh, when you remove all the shadows, uh, the game looks a little bit weird and too like uh, bright as too clean for me. So yeah, so make sure you're using standard or I, uh, sorry, I or very I, something like that, okay? Because you need to use your GPU. You don't want to uh, use your uh, CPU for this. Particle, this one is pretty huge too. Uh, for me, it's not an important thing. So just put it to low and you will save five to seven FPS with this. Cloud, same thing. I saw a nice improving here, two to three FPS for each bracket. 
and uh, you can gain some advantage if you reuse the cloud because you will see again for a little bit will be more clear but uh, some server are locking this one at standard so make sure that uh, you're using it uh, this one is a little bit different uh, it's when um, you can use uh, like standard or low depending of your computer and if you have like a really bad rig again just disable it the peep it's uh it's a little bit weird to explain but it's when like you look at in front of you but uh you look at the mirror of your for example your uh, jeep so it's rendering beef like behind you and in front of you in the game so if you disable it we're at low you will see just like some bushes and by disable you will not see anything low you will see like some bushes at 30 fps something like that and if you go high it will like render everything at your ultra or very high something like that so if you have like a bad gpu and less cpu and stuff like that just go to low or disable it okay finally visibility this one is a huge deal okay so if you go up you will see a big decrease in your FPS. So this one just tested by yourself. Just so you guys know, I'm, I have a R9 280X for my GPU and my CPU is i7 uh, 4790K. So I don't have a great GPU. I'm waiting on the new RX to buy it. But uh, yeah, so uh, here, just do some tests by yourself. You will see objects overall, everything is crazy. Honestly, in this city, you can put like 50 for each oops like something like 50 something like that and it's honestly it's great because you're in the city you know the close range you need to you need fps you need performance so you really need to like to shoot and stuff but uh if you go farther it's more like when you're at like an empty map and you want to see like very far to see if uh, you can see like enemies and stuff like that so um just test it and just try to find the best uh, fps uh uh, for you because you need to know if you don't have any action and you have 60 fps for sure when you will go to any action and shooting stuff you will go to 40 and even 30 fps so make sure that uh, you got your uh, your uh, thing set shadow for me uh, again if you like shadow you can hire this but honestly me i just put it at 50 i don't want to see like shadows very far in the map it will decrease a lot your performance and you don't want this uh, HDR you can stay standard uh, you do a little bit uh, some cool stuff with the, um, the how do you say that the sky sorry by the way I'm French that's why I'm searching for some time my word <laughs> uh, yeah so the sky is like better and stuff you will see some cool effect here dynamic uh, lights this one is kind of weird because in some game I see a lot of decreasing with the performance for this one I saw it like two to three FPS for each so yes, for sure you can go to standards. It's not a big deal for me for those effects. And uh, water reflection, make sure that disable uh, on my uh, R9 280X. I saw a big decrease with my FPS with this. So that was a pretty big deal. Display, just make sure that VSync is disabled uh, like always. And that's about it. You can do bright, uh, brightness and gamma, but will not change anything to your FPS. So, Finally, post process. All those things here, I didn't see a big increase except for depth of field that I see like um, I saw um, two to three FPS. But those one are not very important. Uh, the most important one is um, all the NTL easing that you can see here. Uh, normally I use two X, and here I just disable everything. I don't want like the trees and stuff. Um, you'll see it's uh, you will gain a big chunk of FPS here just to disable everything. Uh, you will see like 10 to 15 SPS, so that's a lot. And um, those one, I it depends. You have a lot of option in this game, so if you want like I don't know grass and more effect, uh, you can add it. But just make sure that remember if it's empty in the map, you will have a good FPS. But when you will start to uh, to be in the city and shooting and stuff, you will see a big decrease in your FPS. So just to make sure that you have maybe. 80 in the big, uh, not Mr. 80, 70, 60 in the big map to make sure that the, in the city you can play at 45, a minimum of 45 FPS. I uh, just want to look at my note. Oops, sorry guys, I just closed the game. Uh, so that's about it. For this one, uh, you can go to I. I didn't see a big improvement or a disimprovement um so yeah 
no sorry 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 this one you need to disable it uh because it it affects shadow so if you disable this yeah you will see we will move all the shadows in, in the game and it's kind of important uh if you want like more fps you can go to low to standard if you have a pretty good rig but for me it's not something that it's important so just remove it so yeah that's about it guys if you have any question just post in the youtube comment section with your rig cpu gpu ram and i will uh, try to help you the, the best that i can me right now in the big map empty with like uh, without anything in the map just like a big empty spot with some trees and stuff i'm uh i'm at the 85 fps and in the city i'm running at 50 so uh yeah that's about it and i don't have a great gpu so i'm pretty sure you can do more if you have like better gpu so if you have any question just do it in the youtube uh, section and uh, that's about it guys don't forget to subscribe bye